So in this video, we're talking about five incredible discoveries I made last month, as we do every month here for you guys. I'm gonna talk about the best fragrances that I tried in September, it's October, of course. At the end of the year, I'll have a 10, top 10 best discoveries of 2021, along with the best releases of 2021. Now these discoveries, not necessary 2021 releases, but it's the first encounter I had and experience with these fragrances. So if you wanna know what they are, guys, these are amazing this month. So. We're getting colder out there, so I'm really looking forward to wearing these fragrances in the next months to come. So keep it tuned in. They're coming up right now. Welcome back to another video Max Forte. If you love to make a great first impression, if you love to smell great, this is a great place to be. Today we're talking, of course, five great discoveries I made last month. Without any further ado, guys, you know the drill. Let's hop into them. First fragrance we're talking about is actually a fragrance that really blew me away. It really surprised me because I wasn't thinking much of it. I think for the price point, for the performance, and for what you get here, this is definitely at least a try. Must try. The fragrance I'm talking about is this one right here, Continuum from Tumi. Tumi fragrance is not really talked about in the community. This one here, my favorite from the bunch. I think I reviewed it for you guys. In fact, I did a little comparison with all the Tumi fragrances. I will pop it up here so you guys can check out that video. The reason why I love Continue is because, number one, it's a tobacco-based scent. It's a creamy, spicy tobacco. I love my tobaccos, I love my leather fragrances, and of course, I love spicy scents, especially in the fall and winter, and this one here scratches me exactly where I itch. A great scent, guys. Smells great. Great for compliments. You're going to smell amazing. We've got notes of tobacco. We have tuberose in here. We have iris root, oud, suede leather, musk, orange, frankincense, and amber. A bomb. It smells great. If you love a great woody spicy scent with tobacco, this is the one you should check out, guys. And I, I'm telling you, for what you get here, the bottle looks great. 100 bucks, I think, they retail for. Worth every penny. Now this next one, guys, if you love a great vanilla scent, this one here is going to make you melt because it smells amazing. It's the newest release from this house, which I started talking about this, this fragrance house a lot earlier this year. And I told you guys that I would continue to explore the brand because I was really enamored with their fragrances. And this one here is called Velvet Tonka. The brand is BDK. And Velvet Tonka is exactly how the name suggests. It's going to be very velvety, a very smooth, a very... Um, you know, captivating Tonka style fragrance. Tonka bean is a very, you know, predominant ingredient nowadays, especially in, you know, designer releases, Tonka, Vanilla, and Broxen. But this one here takes it, Tonka, to a very nice niche element. If you like fragrances like Tonka Imperial, if you like Pegasus from, from Parfums de Marly, I'm not saying this smells exactly like those fragrances, but it's in the same vein, it's in the same genre. So if you like a very nice, uh, niche quality tonka and vanilla and benzoin, you know, incense, uh, resinous, you know, tonka bean scent. This is going to be great, guys. We're talking almonds, we're talking tobacco, we're talking rose oil, we're talking incense, definitely benzoin. There's a lot of resins here in the base. The fragrance is very opulent. Besides the amber here, what I love is the use of the amyris flower, which really adds this nice, unique, and exquisite component to this composition. Think of marzipan. If you're familiar with marzipan, uh, you know, sweets, that's exactly what I get with this fragrance. It's a great gourmand, um, amber, you know, spicy kind of a fragrance. Great for fall and winter. Great for those that have a sweet tooth or just plain likes a very, you know, resinous and spicy, smoky vanilla scent. Absolutely stunner. Speaking of stunners, guys, this next one is a definite stunning fragrance. Again, I love my leathers and tobaccos at this time of the year. And if you're looking for a perfect niche leather fragrance to check out, I'm gonna reiterate, guys, a perfect leather fragrance to check out. You need to like different facets of leather. You need to like a smooth leather, but also a little bit animalistic, a little bit skanky, because this one here is definitely a powerhouse of a leather. The fragrance itself is going to be called Falcon leather from this house here called Materie Premier, which I'm not really familiar with it, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I did a little trial uh, on this whole house. I tried the, the discovery kit and I was really blown away by the quality, the performance, and this one here really took the cake. If you're a big leather fan, guys, this is a must try. You have the suede smoothness that starts the, this composition, a little bit of a honey accord. It's very minimalistic little earthy, a little smoky, it hits you from all different angles, but the leather essence here, the profile of the leather scent is captured to the T here. It's a really amazing leather scent. I'd say this is earthy, it's smoky, it's animalistic, 
I even get some musks in here that's not really written down in the note breakdown, but it's a musky, leathery, earthy, and smoky type of a scent. Just a stunner, guys. Let me know if you had had any experiences with Materier Premier, what other fragrances from this line you guys actually own and love. Comment down below. And of course, if you like unique, exquisite, well-blended niche fragrances like some of the ones I'm talking about here, you must join us for Scent Explore 2021. It is going fast. We're down to the last stretch, guys. Don't miss out. Register now. Join us. It's going to be great. We're going to have tons of giveaways, which are actually going on right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd see that we do giveaways every week. Uh, all the pre-event giveaways and some of the lives that I do on my Instagram. I also, you know, grant some, some, some giveaways if you have registered to the event. So, guys, don't miss out for a chance to win a ultimate amouage experience by visiting the factory in Oman. Again, all details below, synthexplore.com. Don't miss out, guys. It's going to be a great niche perfume event, international and virtual. You can join anywhere you're at. You're more than welcome. And I hope to see you there on December 4th, all-day event. Link below, enjoy. If you guys follow the channel and you know my taste, you know I'm not huge on floral fragrances. However, this one here is done incredibly well. I go as far as saying this is probably in the top five best floral fragrances I've ever tried. Love the stuff. Granted, I think it's definitely more feminine. I would wear this, I would probably layer this, but it's a great fragrance on its own. Definitely think it's more feminine, but doesn't matter because obviously my, my wife loves this. And I know a lot of ladies in the fragrance community that loves this fragrance as their signature scent. Hence the fact that I picked up a bottle because I wanted to try it. I heard so much about this, just like Falcon Leather that I talked about before this one. This particular one, I heard a lot about this fragrance and I had to try it for myself. The fragrance, of course, from M. Mikalef and the fragrance is called Ilang in Gold. Obviously, they're highlighting the Ilang Ilang fragrance profile, adding a whole bunch of great notes in here, which I'll talk to you guys about in a minute. The bottle looks incredible. You have this gold, milky kind of a juice in there. It's just amazing. Look how beautiful that looks. Gold cap. Let's take it for a spin. Again, I wore this fragrance myself. My wife has worn, has worn this fragrance, and it's one of those scents that it is a intoxicating... Let me, let me just put it this way, guys. What this smells like to me, this is a boozy, ilang ilang, borderline gourmand. It's like an ilang ilang cocktail. It's like a, a, a ilang ilang liqueur. It's boozy, it's milky, it's captivating, it's intoxicating. It smells like a million bucks. If I, if I, when I, when I think about this fragrance, when I smell it, what comes to mind is a gorgeous lady, extremely well dressed, well versed, walking and leaving this beautiful waft of a scent, this beautiful scent um, trail. It is just that intoxicating, hypnotizing, Ilang and Goat. Some of the notes we're talking here are going to be lychee. There's a nice fruity lychee slash peach undertone to the fragrance, tangerine. So there's a ton of. Um, you know, fruits up top along with like what, what, what seems to be like um, wormwood slash artemisia slash absinthe kind of a liqueur is what I'm getting up top here. So it's fruity, it's boozy, it's floral, but not overly bitter, just perfectly blended. Some florals in the heart and of course the creaminess, the milkiness that I'm getting here is a gorgeous Mysore sandalwood that's used in the heart of the scent with of course a ton of ylang ylang here. I mean the scent is yellow just like the flower, just like the, the flower, the ylang ylang flower. In the base it gets creamier and greener because you have oak moss, vanilla and coconut milk guys. This is an exquisite fragrance. If you don't like floral you must try this. If you love floral scents this is a must-have. It's as simple as that. Now, normally I leave the best for last, and the reason why I guess I'm leaving this one here for last is because it's one that I'm really taken by it, because as soon as I try this fragrance, and everybody that was around me really turned their heads and was like, what is that smell? That smells incredible. Number one, I love vetiver scents. This is going to be a very spicy vetiver scent. We're talking vetiver, we're talking cloves, we're talking cinnamon. A lot of the great notes I love embellishing this gorgeous vetiver profile. And the fragrance I'm talking about is a first appearance on this channel. That's why I love to do, you know, blind buys or blind sniffing because you always find these amazing fragrances that you have never tried. This is such a fragrance, guys. And this is going to be, the fragrance is called Marcel. And the brand itself is a brand new brand to me that I've never tried before called Marie Jean. Now, this is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, think about it this way. Oh, it smells so amazing. So what this is, it's going to be a lavender slash fougere type of a scent profile that's very green, but it has this very bold citrus component 
tons of lemon, like lemongrass with cloves and cinnamon. Just smelling this here in the test strip has this very mouth-watering quality because it's very sharp and yet very inviting, very captivating. Opens up hugely with blood orange, bergamots, and rosemary. So it's a little bit herbal, very, you know, fruity, and very sharp. As the scent develops, you have Ylang Ylang, you have a leather, gorgeous leather undertone that just surrounds the fragrance, adds this nice texture and layer to the scent, along with pedigrain and lavender. That's where I get the fougere herbal nuances here. Of course, cloves, cinnamon, coumarin, vetiver in the base, which I love. It's a vetiver leather fougere type of a scent. What more can you ask for? This has everything I love. Marcel from Marie Jean. Guys, if you haven't tried this brand, they're gonna be with us at Synth Explore. I definitely highly suggest. Love the minimalist presentation here. The juice is incredible. This is a brand that I'm really taking a like for it. I'm gonna explore even further because I think if I love this one so much, I know they're gonna have other great scents that are hidden gems that I can't wait to discover and share with you guys. Let me know down in the comments, what were the best discoveries you made so far in 2021? What should I try that I yet haven't talked about here on the channel? And of course, thank you so much for your support, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for showing that you do appreciate the channel. All you can do, guys, is show me that you appreciate the channel is just leave me a like, hit that subscribe button for more, and of course, turn your notification bell icon so you get videos like these straight into your feed. As always, guys, I'm your guy. I keep you informed. I keep you in and out with all things fragrance. So show your support. And of course, I'll see you right back here with another video very soon.